Hi YouTube, welcome to another GPU test here. In this one, I am going to just quickly rerun the tests on the Intel Arc B580. I haven't run the rendering tests in Blender here since the GPU was released. And I think you'll be pretty excited to see the performance improvements that this card has gained since uh, the spring of this year when the card was launched. And also as a side note, Join the Discord if you want to get in on more um, kind of discussion stuff and share some info there as well. This is the test bench setup. It's a Gigabyte X570 system with the AMD R9 5950X CPU, 64 gigs of RAM, and our test subject here, the Intel Arc B580 12 gigabyte GPU. We'll start off with showing the tests, and I'm just going to run the four test scenes for rendering. And then we'll talk about the results at the end. We'll start off with the classroom scene. This one goes super fast. And it only took 29.6 seconds on the ARC B580. The next scene is the barbershop scene. This clip is sped up 32 times. And it took 188 seconds. The next scene is the lone monk scene, by far the heaviest. This is actually sped up 50 times. And this one came in at 248 seconds. And finally, the scan land scene sped up at 30 times. And this one took 135 seconds. Okay, so now let's just go through the results here real quick. So we'll start with the classroom scene. I have the Intel B580 results highlighted in blue. So you'll see the new results, which are faster than the old results. And uh, I kind of have a little bit of a quick comparison percentage wise on the right side of the data for each one of these. So to start off with classroom, uh, the B580 went down from 47 seconds originally on Blender 4.3 back in the spring of 2025 to now in the beginning of November on Blender 5 beta, I got down to 29.6 seconds, and that is 37% faster. So that's a huge speed boost. And I think this one is just because of Intel drivers, because I also tested the older A770, and that one did not get any faster. So I think it's a driver thing. I don't think Blender 5 Beta is um, including the cycles updates or any of the new API stuff, especially for AMD. So I think these are driver updates and I don't know exactly at what point they improved, but 37% is the gain. So let's go to Barbershop. Fairly similar result. We went down from 281 seconds for this scene to 188. So almost 100 seconds of savings, which was 33.1% faster. Uh, for this scene, which is great as well. Lone Monk is the long one. We went down from 316 seconds for the frame to 248, and that was a 21.5% increase in speed. And again, this is all just from keeping your drivers up to date. You don't have to do anything special with settings or anything like that. So this is just a free speed update. And then finally here, the scan land scene, we went from 168 seconds to 135, which was a 19.6% increase in speed. And then I averaged the totals here. These are not a weighted average, but um, just the average percentage of speed gain was just under 28% of performance gain on the Intel Arc B580. So if you've been looking at that GPU, and it was a close decision between that and something else. I think it definitely looks a lot more attractive now. And so hopefully this just kind of helps you make that decision a little easier. So that's it for tests on this one. I'm not going to run all of the other viewport stuff and all of that. With Blender 5 coming out soon, I'm going to kind of refocus my benchmark process and kind of check into the way I do things to make sure everything is ready for future tests. And so we'll get to kind of back to that stuff later. 
And like I said, come check out the Discord if you want to get deeper into this stuff and have a place to kind of discuss these things or Blender topics or 3D topics in general or share your own artwork. Um, there's spaces for all of that on the Discord channel. There is a link down below. Uh, otherwise, that's it for now. I hope to see you over there or back here soon. And thanks for watching.